true. Hello. Hey there, my name is uh, Officer E.W. Bellingham Police. Just you know, my body camera's on, according to audio and visual. Yeah. Um, do you remind me your first name? Uh, yeah, my first name. I know why you're here. I just Perfect. got off the phone with uh, my ex-partner's okay. Uh, dad. Okay, gotcha. Do uh, you want to step outside and we can just chat about what happened? It doesn't sound like anyone's in trouble or anything. Yeah, but okay. With, uh, yeah, stuff sure. like this, we just have to sure. make sure everyone's good. So. Yeah. Who are you on the phone with right now? Uh, I'm on the phone with my dad. Okay, um, you can finish yeah. up your conversation. It'll only be a few seconds, and other you can call him back. But okay. Um, yeah. What are you guys? What are you guys here to do? Well, uh, I guess to be frank, it's like I'm here to talk to you, not not your dad, about what happened. So um, basically, we heard the call that she wanted us to mediate something um, with the domestic stuff in Washington State, we got to investigate and, and document everything, so. Okay, and you guys aren't here to take me in or anything like that? Unless any crime has occurred? No. Then, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that, that's, why, that's why I said, like, we're, we're here. Alright, I'm, I'm going to talk to these guys, okay? Yeah, I know, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. I'll call you back. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can get you out here. Yeah. So, like I said, it doesn't sound like anything criminal happened. It was more like a argument between you and your ex. My partner, yeah. She so. just, yeah. She felt harassed by me because I wanted to figure out all the stuff with us okay. breaking up and splitting our assets and she didn't want to talk about it. Okay, so you guys are in the process of breaking up? Yeah. Okay, I mean, gotcha. we're in the process of finding other places to live. I mean, we just signed a lease on a place for a two-bedroom apartment and now we okay. got to figure out breaking that and obviously she doesn't want to talk about that, but okay, gotcha. it's just kind of different agendas that are clashing. Fair enough. Was anyone physically harmed today? Anyone harassed? No. Threatened anyway? No. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, sounds like um, it's a wise decision for you guys to be splitting up. And uh, like I was telling your ex-partner, um, we uh, investigate the criminal side. <coughs> Excuse me. With uh, domestic relationships in Washington State, they take them very seriously. So that's why we're here to talk to you and just make sure everything's good. Mm -hmm. um, so what's going to be your plan for tonight? You're just staying here? Yeah, I mean, she's gone now. I imagine she went over to her dad's. I mean, he okay. really wanted me to leave, and I was just kind of adamant about not leaving because it's my place too, you know? And, right. I mean... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, sounds like she has some stuff here. I told her that does. that would be more, some more on the civil side. Um, depending on the call load, officers might be able to do. It's called a civil standby, and just make sure... Everyone's staying peaceful and all that, mm -hmm. but um, that right now has nothing to do with us, to be frank. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, at this point, no one's going to jail for anything. It's just going to be documented and, and all that. So, um, no, it wasn't for us. Um, do you have any questions for us? Um, is there going to be a follow-up with you guys? What do you mean? Oh, like, are you guys going to, like, come do a wellness check and, like, see if anything, like, is there anything that I have to, anybody I have to call or anything? No, not unless anyone calls in for anything. That's between you guys. I mean, people have arguments all the time, right? So yeah. just this one happened to be resulting in a 911 call. Yeah. Um, she did mention that you've been slamming or hitting doors. Um, yes. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what was told to me. Yeah, I've been slamming some doors. Okay, um, so I would be careful doing that. Um, I understand people need to vent their emotions. Um, sounds like she said that she wasn't harassed or threatened in any way. It was just more uh, because of the argument. Um, obviously, none of us witnessed that here. Uh, so that you may have punched a door too. Just know if you destroy any communal property between you two, whether that's punching a hole through the wall or the door, you can go to jail for that. So I'd be very careful about venting your anger that way in the future. Um, so she said she, uh, that you had hit this door outside here, which I didn't see anything on the door right here. Yeah. Um, so like I said, I would just be, be careful about that in, in the future with communal property. So if you live by yourself and you want to destroy your stuff, that's totally fine. Um, but it, it can be a crime. So yeah, so I hope that clarifies things. Um, we have pamphlets for people involved in domestic violence relationships. Would you like one? Just for information and resources. Okay, we'll, we'll grab that for you. Um, do you have any? I know I asked you earlier, you don't have any questions for us? No, I just, I wish it wouldn't have ended this way. Sure. So, pretty, pretty messed up about it. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, those things happen. So, like, you're, like I said, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, I would just, uh, 
Uh, this, my advice to you would be just to not contact tonight, but you're free to do whatever you want. So, um, looks like our partners are going to go grab that for you. So, what was your dad saying on the phone when we came here? Uh, I was just telling him about how her dad called me and was, you know, threatening to put me in jail and all this stuff. And I just was just kind of venting to him about it and, Go for it. Um, you know, yeah. stuff that's kind of tough to talk about right now. Sure, fair, fair enough. Well, you can also block his number if that's something that you want to do, too. Yeah, well, so. I, I just, I really wanted to call him back and let him hear me out, but I don't think he wants that. Um, so. Yep, that's, that's going to be a decision you're, you're going to have to make if that's going to be good for you in the long run or you can let I things mean, cool off a little bit. Yeah. So. Alright, man. So, I'm going to explain basically who's that for you. It has all that information, the resources. Obviously, you know, we're not here to jam up or anything, and you're having a hard enough time as it is. Yeah, they're never funny situations. It's just when they get heated and stuff, sometimes the neighbors and stuff, pushing the apartment complex and fall. So, yeah. 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 Uh, Alright. Do you need the case number or anything for that? Um, no, I don't. I don't need the yeah. case number. Alright. Well, I hope you have a better rest of your day, and good luck figuring, figuring things out. Thanks. All right, yeah, you're yeah, welcome. You guys have a good one. Thanks.